Hey, buddy, how you doing? Stephen Kuhn. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an American uh, war veteran living in Hungary. Yes, I fought for the uh, Americans in Iraq. And uh, I moved to, to Europe afterwards where I was stationed and ended up staying here. And I've always been fit. I've, I've, uh, you know, I was in the military. I played football. I'm 51 years old now. And about a year and a half ago, um, everything stopped working, what I've always done for my body before, right? So I, did, I, was at a, I was like, what's going on? So I tried and tried and went on the classic diets so went on the classic training programs. And I just couldn't shred that fat. It actually gained up. So after training for 34 years, uh, in nine countries, and actually uh, as an executive for over 87 health clubs at one time, it was troubling to me that I suddenly, suddenly didn't have the knowledge anymore on how to change what I've been doing for so long that was working. So this is where Oliver comes in. Ollie comes in when, uh, when I met him at a private island we were on at some retreat in Croatia with a company called, with an organization called Baby Bathwater. And uh, we met each other, immediately hit it off, and what I noticed about Oli that made the difference to me was he wasn't that classic, you know, hey, train this and eat that and do this. It was more like, what are you trying to achieve? Why do you want to be healthy? And he knew about business. So for me, as a business turnaround specialist, I've been turning around companies for over 20 years in over nine countries, 10 countries. Uh, very successful work with celebrities. I've worked with um, uh, politicians, party heads, world leaders. Musicians, Andrea Bocelli, uh, Mick Jagger, uh, Olivia Newton-John, things like that. So I've had my experience and I've had people come to me telling me what to do uh, as far as fitness goes, but Ollie was the first one who said, look, your body is your business. So your business is 100% dependent on the health and the, you know, and your, the health of your body, which made sense to me. And I think we all know it intrinsically, but it, when it's put in your face like that, it's like, yeah, you know what? I see that I can't work as long, I can't sit as long, I can't stand as long if I'm not in shape like I used to be, especially when you get older in age. So enter Oli. I signed up for his um, monthly program. I think it's a six month program minimum. You pay, I pay a certain amount a month and uh, it was getting me there, and I, but I wanted to push, I wanted to boost. So I asked um, if I could uh, get him over here for his uh, seven day, uh, you know, blueprint intensive, uh, body intensive boot camp, whatever you want to call it. And this is the last day and we're eating our last meal uh, together. And I wanted to make sure that everyone knows what this is all about and how fantastic it is. I mean, literally, uh, you know, I'm frustrated. I mean, I, everyone says, Steve, you know what you're doing? You've been training for so many years, you know how to eat, but it wasn't working. So the, the, the one strength that I always try and keep um, honed and trained is asking for help. So I asked a guy who's, you know, almost 30, 40, like almost 20 years my, my junior, for help, why? Because he's, he's in the new age of nutrition and fitness and I wasn't. And he had the business mindset that I needed to, to, to look at fitness as something different than just something I'm doing to keep, it healthy, keep healthy. It actually helps my business to stay healthy. A few of the things that I needed to um, get used to was eating so much again. Um, it's not because I'm trying to gain muscle, it's because I'm trying to lose fat and get what you would call ripped, but just lean. And getting used to eating all this food and actually investing in, in good food. So, you know, a lot of times we'll buy a car, we'll buy a house, we'll buy jewels and diamonds for our, our wives or our, our husbands, but we'll save on the food. You know, we'll go cheap. And that's, that's the thing that I've sort of switched now that I say, you know, this is actually the most important thing. This is all we have is our health. So I, I like the fact that um, uh, it was all done for me in one week here in my house. We cooked together, we trained together, we worked together, we walked together, we played together. Uh, got to know my family, saw my habits, and saw where to give tips and tricks, where not to do what. And some of the typical ones that you, you, you probably know but don't realize is um, when you're on your phone at the table eating, you're eating without realizing you're eating because you're on your phone. So you literally eat quicker, and enjoy it less and end up feeling hungry afterwards because you don't have the psychological satisfaction of eating. <laughs> so that actually, that actually helped a lot. And what are the results you've had in the last week? Well, in the last week, the results, first of all, you know, energy boost. I think it started like yesterday, the day before. Massive energy boost getting up in the morning. And I'm noticing that the more I'm eating now, the hungrier I'm getting. I'm hungry I'm getting, so that means my metabolism, my, my metabolism is really quick in it, kicking in, but, but most of all, I lost uh, just about five, over five pounds, just a little bit over five pounds in, in seven 5. days. 5.5. Five, excuse me, 5.5 5 pounds in, in just over uh, seven days without dieting, literally eating four times more than I was eating before, 
uh, like this. It's a lot of greens, a lot of uh, you know vegetables, some meat, not a lot, um, and then we have cycled carbs and protein. And that was that, that was another thing. I'm always a big a guy about you know high high protein, low carbs. Well, not necessarily always the case. Um, and I had to force myself to eat carbs at night before I go to bed here. Um, and it actually, I woke up in the morning like yeah, feeling great. You know, like energy. It was it was something that I was completely against before, but I tried it because he was here. What else am I gonna do? Right, he's right in front of me. <laughs> And if someone is on the fence mm -hmm. about signing up with with myself and going through the online and then the intensive route, what would you tell them? There is no fence with fitness. You know, there is no fence. Either you're on or you're either you're you're in the field of play or you're out. There's no fence. Uh, we all know how, how hard it is to get in shape and to, and to stay in shape, and how easy it is to fall off the you know off the fence back to the other side, where you just you know wither away to nothing and start doing one cheat day and then three and then ten and you all oh, do it tomorrow next thing you know it's next year and you have 20 30 40 50 pounds over you know what i'm talking about because i've had it um i once had 30 kilos over which is like over almost 80 pounds and it just happened in my mind overnight and that's why i say there is no fence either you decide to make a difference in your life and in your business uh or you don't and it's, i mean for me it's simple as that right i mean i don't i don't i don't think it's a question either you have the intestinal fortitude to have what it to, to, to do what it takes to run your business and be healthy and be able to enjoy the business once you are to the point where you want to be. I mean, for me, that was key because I spend a lot of time with my family. My family's very young. At 51, I have a three and a four year old. Um, so I want to be around for a while. So to do that, I need to eat right, train right, know what I'm doing. And Ollie was the man to make it happen. And I've tried a lot of trainers online, offline, in front of you, back, back. I mean, it's just, it just out of control, like a lot and a lot of diets and a lot of supplements. This is the first one that worked within seven days. Crazy. And the last thing, finally, everything is clicking. Yeah. What made you stop now rather than waiting? Because your business is going through one of the most successful periods right. ever. Yeah. What made you stop now rather than waiting until you, you didn't feel too good? Yeah. Well, it's, I'm, I'm a firm believer of asking for help before you need it. And I realized that the growth that I'm going through now is going to put me in a stressful uh, situation because I'll be traveling more, speaking more on TV, more and things like that. So when that starts happening, I need to be in shape. I can't fly to three cities in three days, be on TV, be awake, look good, look nutritional, not pale and you know, sagging eyes. I know that I have to be in the best shape of my life to be able to be um, the, the, the be able to have the highest output of my life to be in the most successful point in my life. And that's where I'm headed. And, and, and like, like you always say, your body's your business. Health is wealth, you know. I mean, knowing that just because I'm healthy, I have a 40% more chance of being more wealthy. It's just, for me, that's enough to say, yeah, man, the seven days, the investment compared to a return is not even, it's not even worth discussing. If you're on the fence about this, if you're thinking about, uh, you know, the monthly, the monthly is, for anyone who cares, it's, it's almost scarily, scarily cheap. Um, but for the, for the intensive, you can't, you couldn't get this anywhere for this price, period. Period. Cool. I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate it. being here this week, brother. And uh, I look forward to seeing some amazing results on top of this. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yes, indeed. All right, everybody. Have a fantastic one. And remember, your body is your business. <laughs>